as much as over the years I've just stayed silent about these things, I think it's actually important to speak and tell people why I've stayed silent. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Sarah, I am a medical doctor and a fitness instructor and I make videos here on YouTube to talk about health, lifestyle and fitness. We're in the middle of September, a month when I upload a new video every day <laughs> uh, about other things as well, but the main focus on this channel is health and fitness. Today's video is a little bit different than my usual videos. I thought that I would sit down and talk to you about a topic that I've been asked about quite a lot and increasingly um, over recent times. There is a talented celebrity called Rebel Wilson. She is an actress and a comedian. Recently, she had a change in her weight, specifically weight loss. She shared little bits of information about her personal journey. And I've been asked since then to share my opinion as a doctor, as a fitness instructor, what are my thoughts? And I just wanted to say my thoughts about Rebel and her body are that I have none. I have none. It's, it's her life. It's her body. Unless she specifically asks me as a friend, I don't have the pleasure of knowing her, but as a friend or as a um, personal trainer or as a doctor, then I have no opinions on it because it's her body and it's really none of my business. My goal here on this channel is to share science-based information, share exciting workouts that are effective and help you to live a healthy lifestyle. My job is not to judge others, but I'm not really about that. I would love if we would just stop judging other people's bodies. And that is from a human, you know, one human to another perspective. But from a medical perspective, because I think a lot of the reasons people have been asking me this are because I'm a doctor, because I work in health and fitness. Looking at someone and and judging their weight or judging their latest Instagram photo is not going to give you the full picture of a person or their health or, or whatever it is that you're trying to assess. I really recommend that we should all refrain from judging and making assumptions just by looking at someone's Instagram. There's no need to judge a woman's body, whether she's famous or whether she's not, or a man's body, whether they're famous or not. We don't have to judge each other's bodies, okay? We can all just share love and encouragement. And for me, whenever I feel like I really want to control someone else or judge someone else or make comments on someone else I just double check I remind myself Sarah just focus on you the only person the only thing in this life that God has given you to control is yourself so focus on that focus on improving yourself spreading love spreading kindness I don't know if that makes sense I hope it makes sense I really believe that the main thing that we have to focus on with health and fitness is on loving our bodies our bodies and treating them as the temples and gifts that they are, looking after them and giving them the exercise and good nutrition and food that we deserve. Um, but I do believe that that is up to the individual, it's up to the individual on how they look after their body and I think a big part um, a big way that we could help ourselves help each other is by not judging each other and just being kind to each other and we don't always have to comment on what someone else looks like or on their weight or on their body because there is so much more to them and also we never really know the whole story so encouraging each other sharing love you know being supportive in that way is amazing but also remembering just not to judge others because even though we can do that under the pretense of wanting to help someone often it's actually really unhelpful and what we can can do to help others is to love ourselves and to love them and that does not always constitute offering unsolicited opinions. I also believe that the way that we love others is a reflection of how we love ourselves. So often when we're making snap judgments about people and criticizing them a lot, it's also a reflection of what we do to ourselves and the way that we talk about ourselves, the way that we treat ourselves as unworthy, we judge ourselves by our appearance and that's not good. So I want to just encourage myself and everyone watching this video to be kind to ourselves, you know, as we are kind to others, we are released and we're almost empowered to offer that kindness to ourselves as well, that we can be non-judgmental to ourselves, be patient with ourselves, you know, encourage ourselves and just show love. I really think that we will all progress in our journey so much more um, because of that release. I'm not going to judge this person that I don't know, I'm not going to offer unsolicited opinions. I mean, if you don't know someone and they haven't asked you, the chances are your comment will be inaccurate anyway. So I don't know her. She hasn't asked me, therefore I will not be commenting. Um, I just really felt the need to make this video and to share the why, because I think the why is really important. As much as over the years I've just stayed silent about these things, I think it's actually important to speak and tell people 
why I've stayed silent about these things. It's because it's none of my business. That, that is the honest truth. It's not my business unless the specific person asks me, in which case I will do a lot more research into them and their life and their lifestyle. And I will sit down in private with that person. Unless they do that, I'll mind my business. I'll just drink my water, do my squats and mind my business. I highly encourage everyone watching this video to feel free to do the same, just minding your business great for the mental health. Yeah, I really hope that you can understand the heart of what I'm saying. And I think that is all I have to say about that. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos in the future. Let me know any more videos that you want to see during this month where I just spice it up a bit, do everything a little bit differently than my usual workouts. Join me on Instagram and Twitter for more and make sure you join in with my 5.30 a.m. live workouts on Instagram. You can catch up on the IGTV as well. And that's all I have to say. Love you guys so much. I will see you in my next video.